After a long day of being pulled in every direction, the last thing anyone wants to think about is what's for dinner. That's where Schwann's can help with a variety of real food choices, frozen to lock in freshness, from ready-made meals, premium meats and side dishes, to vegetables, ice cream, and more. Schwann's foods go from freezer to table in minutes, not hours, so you can pull off a delicious meal in no time at all. Ordered, delivered, done. That's homemade easy. To help simplify mealtime, visit schwanns.com. Let's say you just bought a house. Bad news is, you're one step closer to becoming your parents. You'll proudly mow the lawn. Ask if anybody noticed you mowed the lawn. Tell people to stay off the lawn. Compare it to your neighbor's lawn. And complain about having to mow the lawn again. Good news is, it's easy to bundle home and auto through Progressive and save on your car insurance. Which, of course, will go right into the lawn. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Discount not available in all stages or situations. This is Jim from Keys Bartender. We heard Blackwater Siren on the south side of Jewfish Creek, the home of delicious food and drink and gorgeous views of Blackwater Sound. That's I'm here with Bill day. Wissinger. Hi, how y'all uh, doing? All right. It's a beautiful day here. It's a little windy. Uh, Bayside, though, it's uh, it's Yeah, if you're, calm. if you're tucked up against the shore, Bayside is gorgeous. You get yeah. offshore and you got 20, 25 knots out of the east, it's probably a little sporty out on oh, the ocean. I have my friends from uh, uh, Philly came in. And uh, they're out with Captain Skip Bradeen. And uh, they're, uh, look at that sucker. That sucker looks a little sorry. But that's, uh, but they're out there in, uh, what, six foot seas? Yeah, probably six, six, six to eight. eight. Yeah, they didn't call me today. With so the they're out there. Uh, they with went the out six. Oh, my God, rolling through. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, man. That's got to be rough as hell. Um but uh, these friends, uh, four friends of mine, uh, here, we have here. Kevin O'Dare, Pat McGeehan, John McGeehan. Oh, smoke a real cigar, damn it. Smoke a cigar. Okay, I think I'm going to light this up. Uh, what well, we're going to say, Kev- Kevin O'Dare, Pat McGeehan, John McGeehan, and Jim Golden came uh, down from Philly yesterday. There you oh, go. there's Luke come rolling in. There's Luke. There he is uh, with uh, T-Bone. And my buddies from uh, Philly, they stopped in the uh, catch with me. Uh, and uh, had a couple drinks. Man, these guys were charming as hell. They just charmed the hell out of everyone, buying drinks back and forth. And uh, oh, I'm sure they shit. did. Yeah, they're, everybody they're, having a good old yeah. time. You know what? They're drinkers. They don't do. They don't do a lot of shots. They just drink. Yep. And it, you know what? Funny. My buddy Kevin O'Dare, he did the same. He had a couple beers, and then he asked for a uh, wine, and he went back to beer. There you go. Well, you know how I do wine sometimes. Yeah, I know. Like that. Um, and then my buddy Pat was drinking, uh, oh, God, he was drinking uh, Deep Eddie's uh, Sweet Tea Vodka, uh, and uh, John and, and the other guy's drinking, like, Miller Light and Coors Light. <laughs> yeah, and then they, that's them, and they come in, and you're eating fish, and they're just, I guess it's one of these things, this is what I miss about living up north coming down and seeing a place with new eyes yep and i spoke about this several times there's nothing like uh and you could speak to this too there's nothing like coming back here and looking at a place with new eyes wherever you're going to go wait yeah. oh wait, wait. You yeah hell south, south georgia doesn't look bad if you go back and visit uh-huh <laughs> there yeah. you go you got that lighter going now hand jim fancy lighters he's not sure what to do with them yeah, Bill just gave me a nice cigar. Um, yeah, there's not there's nothing like getting. Uh, we're right down here. It's against it's in the, it's, uh, the, the the low 80s. There's a guy uh, looking across at Gilberts. There's somebody swimming off the beach there. Very well. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. I guess there was someone warm. out on the beach. I guess it might be warm enough to get in the water now. You know, it's funny. Yeah, there's a... <laughs> well, you're you're kind of a northerner, too. What are you talking about? I've lived down It's been warm down there. Enough. See that guy right there? Yeah, I see him. Right there. Yeah, the water's warm as hell, especially Bayside. Give me that yeah, damn no thing, problem. Man. Right? Give me that damn cigar. Oh, you're, you're going to light that up? Oh. Here we... I don't want to bug Bill. He's, he's kind enough to give me a cigar. Uh, but, I mean, there's nothing like it. You're down here. This is off-season now. Yeah, off-season. Mother's Day, we'll get a little peak. And uh, and then about a week or so later, we're going to have the end of school year. In well, you know, I was, I was going to say, until uh, I realized I didn't have a mic in my hand, uh, off-season is no longer off-season. Well, I, you know, we, we had a discussion with the advent of online uh, pricing and all that. And, yeah, you get, and people can actually see a tangible difference by seeing, oh, well, if I come down here in March. I can get a hotel room for 50 bucks. Yeah, well, no, no, if you come down here in March, it's yeah. like $300. If I come down here now, it's one-third the price. And you go, oh, what the hell? And you know what? Right yeah, now I mean, with the temperatures and all that stuff, it's, it's, not, it's not that um, – it's actually a little. Actually, we've been having a really good spate Man, of weather. It's it's been gorgeous. It's dry. It, I, and keep, I keep thinking that every day that I'm sitting out on my porch and it's nice and it's comfortable. I'm thinking, oh, this is the last one before the heat sets in. I'm gonna be miserable. Yeah, I would. I, I remember last couple. I mean, uh, the years and stuff like that. In May, it was just like the heat would set in, and there you are, and here we are sitting outside, and uh, it's beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous, and man, it was almost chilly this morning. I know it was beautiful. It was man. almost chilly this morning. I was uh, I was Cup up early coffee this morning. Getting there. I mean, we're getting nice weather up north too. I think it's going to be it, actually fifty five in the morning up in Philly and seventy five in midday. Gorgeous weather up there. I talked to my wife today. She's out in uh, California. I saw she's freezing her ass. I, heard, I saw <laughs> the um, you know that caravan they talked about yeah. coming up from the. I saw that thing in Tijuana. They're wearing winter coats oh, yeah. in Tijuana. Yeah, dude, it's in the. How fucked up is that? It's in the fifties at night. Actually, it's probably colder. No, than but that. it's at daytime. No, oh, yeah. They're wearing. They're wearing these. Uh, uh, look at Luke, man. He's just fucking. Luke's here. Luke is here. I'm gonna say hi. I'm Luke. Uh, how do a Luke impression. Doing? How y'all doing? He just. Uh, I don't know if he doesn't know that we're on the air or not, or he probably yeah, doesn't. he knows. Yeah, he'll kind of roll in there with T-Bone and stuff like that. He's had a charmed week, hasn't he? Probably. He had his birthday, and he get it. you guys didn't get in trouble at all. <laughs> yes, we got fucking. Of course, we you know got what? In Kim didn't trouble. make a big deal about it when oh, I saw. Oh, she him. bitched at me. She did. Oh yeah, I remember that night. So last Wednesday or last Tuesday, we're here, and uh, <laughs> it's funny. I just hung out and I was having a a couple drinks, and uh, I think Luke just came uh, came up with a game plan because you're going to be driving us to. Uh, um, yeah, we. We we did that and that that then luckily where'd you go? Wait, uh, you know, let's do that, a recap. Let's that, do a recap. We do a show. It's Luke's birthday. Uh, we hang out. We have a friend Jen that shows up. Yep. We're talking to her. Talking to uh, her. Having have a good a time. Someone drinks. else is there too. Oh, I'm sure there were a couple other people over on uh, the other Jerlin. side of the bar. We're talking to Jerlin yeah. too. Uh, it's Luke's birthday. Um, we're here, and then all of a sudden they said, we're going to go to uh, shipwrecks. You're going to drive us around and do this. And at the time, I'm thinking, I'm looking at my clock, and I'm already like 20 minutes late yeah, for like, being uh-huh. home. I go, oh, fuck. I got to get home. And then all of a sudden they go, no, no way. I could see, boy, that would have been great. I wouldn't have <laughs> I been mean, driving you around. And- well, luckily my wife showed up just about the time you left. Yes. And uh, she ended up carting us around. And that's where you pick up the story. Yeah. So she ended you, up I leave here. And, and what then, happens? Uh, Tell oh, me what happens we, here. We get two, How long we, you stay oh, here? We stayed here for a while. Then we go uh, we go bar hopping a little bit. We hit two or three different bars. And Luke decides, while his wife is still working, rather than telling uh, Sandy that he wants a ride home, he calls his wife and says, hey, come pick me up. We recap in <laughs> your birthday night. Okay. Oh, 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 I heard about that. Kim told me. <laughs> you called him and said you were at the Caribbean Club. and 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 Kim went. Uh, left work. Yeah, except he was sitting at the chill. Yeah, you were sitting. He, no, he, he was sitting at CJ's. Oh, was it CJ's? Because we were CJ's. like two bars down. No, I think he was still chill. No, I was he said at you CJ's. had to chill. Well, what, wherever the place he called her, he was at the next place. Yeah, well. That was good, Luke. Come on, pick up the mic, man. 
you're all right. You're not in a doghouse, man. She was kind of smiling about it. You've done worse. Oh, Ooh. man. She's you didn't hide the TV, home. I heard. No, no. At least I left the TV alone. Yeah. Mm. No, she, she, she only chewed my ass a little bit Friday night. Hmm. Okay, so she, she she likes you in my ass. You're, you kind of like went did a uh, yada yada. That's a yada 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 yada. I ended up there. So mm. yeah, we're good. here. We you're here time. for a little while longer. We're you talking it. Oh, you can't. I don't want to indemnify I, I, you. I don't remember Talk to any a young lady, thing, man. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh yeah, we were at ladies' night. A bit. We Luke and I hardly ever go to the chill yeah. to drink socially. And We're kind of local celebrities, so all the girls know you. Well, yeah, but we, we walk in, and it was just a shit show. It was fun. What was there? There a lot of girls there? Yeah, well, it was ladies' night. Ladies there were a lot freeze. of girls? Yeah, there were a lot of women. Of course, we know them all. Yeah, you know, I know, and there's some girls that they go, oh, look at these guys. Everyone knows them and stuff. They must be all right. Look at these drunk assholes. No, no, no. Well, I mean, I think I think of the way the association I put to it. These guys are well known here. No, they man, must- they can't even tell us apart, man. <laughs> Fuck. You know, from the I'm first. I'm setting up at shipwrecks on Saturday, and the little girl is working there. <laughs> oh, you were here last night, blah, blah, blah. I was like. Oh, the little uh, the little uh, oriental looking girl? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Are you God. kidding me? From the fr- I know. I don't get well, how they hey, confuse you, know, you guys. Oriental girls. We all look the same to them. Young <laughs> oriental girl. I don't, you know. Uh, She's a cutie, too. She yeah. Is, uh, actually, all of the girls that work up shipwrecks are cuties. Oh, wow. I think she has the least amount of ink on her, though. Yeah, what do you mean? Ink? Oh, no, yeah, that, tattoos. That, that's one of the. That's one of the. Uh, that's, that's one of the uh, Boy, qualifications for working a shipwreck. You got oh, yeah, to have, have a lot of ink. Up. They got some really interesting tats. Do you have? I have zero tattoos. No, zero. Both of us are immune to ink. All I have is fucking scars. Yeah, that's a weird thing. That's the one thing we all have in common, right? Yep. Because tattoos were big in Philly, too. Yeah, no. And well, I mean, it, but in our generation, man, they were still looked down upon, man. Yeah, no, that's not even that. I was in the, I, I was in the no, Navy. No, that wasn't for me, either. Yeah, I mean, I'll, after I got out of the Navy, it's no big deal. That, no, oh, was, man, my mom, was man. And, yeah, you yeah know. They did the Celtic uh, bands. No, yeah, bad shit like man. that. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't get Oh, that's almost a like tattoo, a, a Jewish yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't. Uh, once you. Yeah. Uh, you defiled your defiled fucking your temple, man. Yeah. Can't fuck with the temple, man. Yeah, you know what? My temple, man. I mean, there's so many. I wonder how many vindictive time. tattoos there are out there. <laughs> yeah, my my, my my temple's my temple's falling down. No, right but now. I mean, <laughs> just think about it. Someone gets real drunk and they want to get a tattoo, and you just they pass out, and you go, "Hey, um, you know, most guys actually won't do that." Most uh, a legitimate oh, you mean a tattoo, tattoo artist. artist? Yeah. 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 If you're too drunk, they'll tell you, you know, you nah, got to come back when you're sober. Back. Because another thing about being too drunk, you bleed a lot Liability, too, too, yeah. Oh, it thins out your uh, blood, yeah. blood, yeah. And stuff. No, but I'm just thinking about, like, you could... Fucking you know, A, I paid fucking rent yesterday, man. Fucking A, and this is May 1st. God damn it. There that you good? go. Yeah, man. That's two months in a row now I've been on fucking time. There you man. go. And you know, it's a thing down here that, yeah, I mean, and you know what? We're going to be ro- rolling to the summer, which uh, we were just oh, briefly discussing. Dead, man. Yeah, it is, it is dead, but, you know, we do need to have a little, it's nice to have a little respite, right? Dude, I need a, I did fucking eight last week. Oh, speaking of which, man. Um, do I need to cover something? Yeah, can you do a Saturday for me? Because I'm double booked. Yeah, yeah, we're making deals. Yeah, we should probably do that. Uh, I'll, I'll get on the horn with Cody and double check, but I'm sure we can do that. It, yeah, we Mike and I'll cover it if, nobody, if nothing else. That'd be okay. nice. You're Where is it going to be? Uh, shipwrecks. Yeah, and then I got to play over at. Uh, you know, we got to get to shipwrecks. Uh, I think there's another Gilbert's. place someone wants to get us to. Oh, uh, we're. I, I think we're probably. I got to find a time. We should do a special show from Sharkies. Yeah. On a night we're all off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Monday or early <laughs> enough, or how about early enough where we have a break? We could do it like an afternoon show or something okay. like that. Or where, where? When are you down in that area? When are you down in that area? That's that's I'm, six I'm good. miles from like, here. We're Tuesday. always down in that area. No, no. What, what I'm saying is when you're doing a de- a, a, a job. I'm there every. I'm Tuesday, I'm there every Wednesday, Saturday. and Thursday. I'm now there Tuesday, on Thursday. Thursday, we're here. Thursday. Yeah. Thurs- yeah. Thursdays I could do, but we'd have to do it early because I got to be back. Well, yeah, we could do early. Okay, yeah. If we do, we can do three. Yeah, if we do three, three thirty, I can do we one can down do there. Three o'clock. What do you think, bud? Sure. Yeah, because then he all he's got to do is set up and play. 
I'll do a, we'll do an early show, and then and I I've think I might, I'm, I think the Sean, show that, man, uh, Sean's no. there on Bar 10's Thursday night. Yeah, Sean told me. Yeah, I think Sean is there on Thursday. Thursday night. Yeah, he and told he's me. there on my Sundays, too. Is he back? Sean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, Sean. So what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I spoke to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, no, I spoke to him yesterday. Okay. So maybe we'll do one, and then I'll do, uh, uh, we'll do, this way we get her, and, and listen, I want to, whoever's listening to know that we're going to try to get her episodes up, and we're going to try to get this thing where we're talking, I want to talk to a bartender, too. There you go. It's Keith's bartender, but you know what? You guys hanging up in the, oh. in the bars that well, you're drinking up your Keith's bartender. When Phil gets you're, here, we'll get Jim on. That'll be a shit show. What? We'll get Jim. Oh, shit. <laughs> We'll, we'll talk to Jim. We'll get There's him the started. There's the other gym. Do you know they used to call us different gyms, right? Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah. What was I called? Oh. Uh, I think they just called was you I called James. Him? No, yeah, I thought you were James. Well, really? that's sexy, man, when a girl I, calls me James. I thought you were James and he was Jim. Okay. I thought they called me Nice Jim. Well, it could, it could have been. I, mean, I, could I have thought been they called too. me Nice Jim. I thought it was James and Jim. Yeah. I don't mind that. I worked. I told you I worked with my dad uh, for a year, and they called uh, because we had the same exact name, same exact name. Except he was a, a junior, and I was a third, but actually he was a senior, right? Uh, because my his father passed away. You, you can't keep the junior for some reason. A junior can't remain when the senior passed away. So okay. it's senior and a third. My father's a senior now, well, but that's, that, they that's call how... me Pete. They call me Pete. There you go. My middle name. And fuck, man, someone called me the whole time, and they'd say, Pete, Pete. I'm like, what the? What? Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm the, I don't ca- You could do that for a month. Well, yeah, you know, that junior thing makes sense because that, that's how my naming conventions go. If, if you're younger than 30 and I don't know your name, you're junior. If you're older than 30 and I don't know your name, you're chief. Yeah. Or if, you're, if you look like so you're you fishing guy. Chief? If you look like my a fishing dad was guy, a, it's you're, funny you're that Because my dad was all those things. Yeah. He was a chief in the Navy. Yeah, he was a, he was a junior. Yeah, and now he's a senior. If, if you're contemporary yeah. to me, you're you're, you're yeah. a chief or captain. Yeah, well, you know, hey, you know, I'm a. But my 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 wife calls me a daddy's boy <laughs> because I love my dad. I do love my dad. I love my, I love my mom, but my dad's the. Um, you know. Yeah, no, I'm not quite there. <laughs> I am. My dad. My dad's the guy. I mean, I swear to God, he's always looked out for me. I might somebody. have some issues there. I'm going to pop. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to make a point of that, but I did. My me, my dad, like mine's he, still, he always had my back. Mine's still on the federal pen. Okay. <laughs> my, my, no, no, my dad always had my back, and uh, he's the, uh, I, I, I don't mind seating the number one Jim Haran spot to him. Yeah, no, I can. Well, everyone has someone. Like, you have someone, you have an uncle, you have a friend, you have a person that, and, and Luke, you too, right? My dad was pretty cool. No, but you have somebody that you, you know. He was the one that finally stood up and said, look, the boy don't want to go to church. He ain't got to go to church. Yes. That's there nice. There you go. Yep. You know what? And I said, cool. And we sat home and we watched Austin City Limits that night. And my brother oh, Sam. Oh, wait, Austin City Limits? That, was that on PBS? Yeah. And we that night it was Holy Stevie shit. Ray Vaughan, all because I didn't want to go to fucking church, There you man. go. Was where, 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 we was this? where were you this? Where were you living? In tight assville. And you were listening to PBS. Yeah, as we only got one or two stations oh, yeah. up there. No, but that's kind of <laughs> fucking amazing that you had that. You know, there, people say, "What is the public broadcasting system Hell. brought to America?" It brought culture because that's American culture. I'm Austin yeah, City man. Limits. There's some great music came Hell. fucking out of there. I'm still a huge fan of Lawrence Welk, man. I used to love watching Lawrence Welk. Oh show. man, my mom is it still around. My mom we, watches it we every chance. That is that is Americana. You're right. That is a blend of Nordic. Uh, uh, Nordic, Polish, and all that, uh, you know, uh, Central European music. Here we go. Oh, we're There's our friends from hi. Jersey coming in. You don't have to be quiet. What are no, you coming you can... up? Oh, is it the cigar? Cigar no, song? No, she's just, she, she's loving T-Bone. <laughs> no, she, she went like this. I was going, I thought it no, was the uh, No, smoke. I think she was trying to be quiet. No, oh, you, you don't make, have to be quiet up here. All the noise you want. You can yell as much as you want, Doug. There you go. Doug's our, <laughs> our pilot. <laughs> Nerves of steel. I know you do. 
There you, you know go. what? I swear to God, if I ever had anybody to drive me home, it'd be Dougie. You know that? <laughs> there you go. I know you'd be able to handle it. Doug, I'm sorry. But I, I, would, I I'd really have a lot of faith in that. I know that. I know. Yeah, I saw, I saw a guy, a pilot, uh, land uh, up at um, Fort Lauderdale, and I just trust commercial pilots. I really um, – the, the level – the low-level fatalities yes, in commercial – I mean, I think it was the longest time in the U.S. that a commercial fa- fatality has occurred here. It's amazing. It's amazing for the number of people that flew over the miles. It is astronomically – it's so much, I, I have to say, so much lower than the miles driven. So what's with them tired engines on the 737s? You're right. You're 100% correct. No, but I mean, I'm going to tell you, bad things happen. It's just a, a law of average. Well, the ones that they're talking about, um, I forgot how many. I mean, it's like you wouldn't believe how many... Uh, it's like a hundred thousand hours on the engines, you know. I mean, just incredible. Oh, I think it, you're talking about that flight that, that that detoured to Philadelphia after this, New York, uh, like several weeks ago, and the, uh, the engine and it sucked uh, the woman out. Uh, malfunction and a part of the um, turbine or not turbine the uh, yeah it was a the turbine. blades when turbine yeah. blades uh, 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 went fatigue. to the w- uh, fatigue blew out and hit the window. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's just a law of averages, right there. I hate to say that. Perfection. Where, where, where are we ever going to be at a time where everything's perfect? But I'll tell you, if you're traveling, if you if you traveled the same amount of distance here and there, the same amount of times, it's car, amazing the the, <laughs> the low level of casualties that occur. Because we have, if you ever, and we spoke about this book before, Freakonomics. When something occurs. Out of the ordinary, there's an inordinate amount of focus that occurs. And people see a shark attack. Let's say someone's out there right now. A shark attack. But millions of people are in that water. And the sharks are in the water all the time, too. It's, a, it's not amazing that someone got attacked. It's amazing that so many people don't get killed. That's the way it is. Now, on the roads, it's the opposite. It's amazing how many people get well, oh, yeah, man, but yeah. on Route 1, Way right, Doug? On Route 1, how many deaths do we hear? And every time you hear a, a, um, a siren going, you're thinking, This what, year what has happened? been an or- inordinate amount of traffic crashes. I mean, multiple crashes Yeah, a couple a months day, ago, there were two, uh, there were, there were the, the Spanish girls. There were um, four, college students. Yeah, four, from four Spain or whatever. From Spain, they were down in Isle Morada. And they got rear-ended. They were in the middle of the road. They got rear-ended, and shoved into ongoing traffic, and man. they got uh, hammered by Killed a him. RV. Yeah. Killed them. And, then, and, um, and someone passed on this knowledge to my wife. She said, when you're in the middle, don't turn your wheels toward traffic. Keep it straight. Because if you get hit, you'll go straight. Yes, it does. Who knows? I thought about it till then. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Doug. We're going to, you know what? And if you do, <laughs> coming down to Florida is one of the safest things you can do. Yep. You know, flying, driving to, <laughs> driving to your supermarket, one of the most dangerous things you can do. Well, safer now. I just fixed my, uh, fixed my shift selector. What? Fi- fixed my shift selector. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys handle this. Let's talk. Let you guys. Actually, why don't I give you a me, subject right now to talk about your driver. music selection? Okay, I'm going to leave it. Um, okay. Remember Mike Meyer, Myers' talk, coffee talk? Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I don't remember that show. I don't know. Well, you know, traditionally you do what, what appeals to the crowd down here. Southern Rock's always been real popular. Uh Luke Luke heads a little more towards Southern Rock. I, I head a little towards uh, more old country, but we got a lot of crossover stuff. Every once in a while, he'll throw rock and roll at me, and I look at him and go, really, you're doing Pink Floyd? <laughs> <laughs> I bet I can turn this into a bluegrass song. Well, I do a little bit of everything, except for I don't do any Jimmy Buffett. You know, I, I still got to burn you that CD. There's there, there There's like 20 Buffett songs that are really good. From his first for, from his first few albums, he used to call it Gulf and Western. It's basically country music about the Gulf Coast, and it's actually really good. Nobody ever plays the shit you'd never know was Buffett, but it's actually pretty good. 
Yeah, there's still the nine songs that we all hate. Oh, man. Can you and, play uh, Margaritaville? No, but I can play Marijuanaville. <laughs> uh, I've forgotten that one, too. Only because I just got so wore out on it. There you go. Yeah, no, I'll have to sing Marijuanaville every once in a while. Because I'll get the get the drunk chick that just won't leave it alone. That was enjoyable. There you go. Yeah. Oh, look at T-Bone. T-Bone's getting some love. Oh, he's a, he's he's a, a beautiful dog. I don't mind. I don't mind getting licked by a dog. Uh, Pardon me. I meant oh, there to you puke. Go. <laughs> there you go. That was Luke. I meant to all, puke. Yeah, all my, all my cats are very unhappy with me because it's the first month and they all got their little flea drops. Oh, wow. And so, you know, I'm putting six drops on the back of their neck, and it's like I'm murdering a couple of them. Oh yeah, you man. know when you're when uh, down here, especially because we're subtropical, we got that. Do uh, you have the pest issues and stuff like that? I mean, I'm sure that t- fleas and ticks are big up north and stuff like that. But there's something about vermin down here where we get it crazy, man. We just got the, the, the tegu yeah, lizards oh, man, and all that stuff all around. But let me rest assured, we're down here. You're not going to see. You're not going to be bothered too much down here. I mean, the, you may the, see a the lizard. occasional mosquito swarm will come yeah. and carry your ass away. I watched some tours freaking out about all the little tur- curly-tailed uh, lizards that were at Sharky's. <laughs> they come walking in front of the Oh, What's my the God. F- oh, God. It's a shark. They're, not, they're lizards. They're not going to come and do anything. you got little black racers that come out, snakes. They're just Actually, out there. You know why your power went off? Yeah. You know why your power went oh, off? Oh, did it hit the power? Did it hit the line? No, it was seven-foot corn snake. Climbed up the pole up here. <laughs> Mike? That's, everybody's power went off Thursday night. Oh, that was it? That was it. A seven-foot corn snake got up in the uh, substation up here. Wow, went out with a blaze of glory, oh, huh? Yes, he, uh, be, he should be playing that goddamn Bon Jovi song. He got You know that? Blaze uh, of glory. He, ki- he, killed, he killed the power all the way down to Tavernier on the base side. That is the, you know what? If you're a little critter, wow, that's the way snake, to go out, man. isn't it? That must have been a thick corn snake, man, to not just get disintegrated yeah. like, you know. Hey, Luke, you want to see a thick like corn a snake? Like <laughs> Want to see a thick uh, corn snake? Uh, I've we seen plenty in West Virginia. Enormous <laughs> and everything's going my way. What, what, what are we looking at right now? Oh, we're about 27 minutes. Oh, Christ. We, we got, got plenty got of time. time. We got some people kayaking right here. Yeah. It's so amazing right now. Um, if you were down here right now, you'd have the run of the fucking town. Pretty much. They were, I mean, hey, listen, we're not gonna I mean, we're not gonna bullshit you guys. It's a little there are literally but it's there are nice literally three people at the bar. My friend over there, Frank, and uh, we we got people, two people kayaking over here. You get the keys to yourself. You'd be in a you'd be in the middle of Blackwater uh, Sound. There's a, there's a couple kayaking. You could go out to Dog Beach and there wouldn't be nobody out There'd there. Be but nobody, you. man. Except a bunch of dog shit. <laughs> now, nah, most of us that take our dogs yeah. are smart enough Do to they pick take it up. Bags. Most people Do they? take bags. Okay. Most, everybody that lives down here takes bags. Yeah. Yeah, it's only when we get invaded from the their diaper leaving. They think because you have a yeah, tiny dog, tiny dog. Yeah, you get to Miami crowd. Tiny dog, uh, come they'll, down they'll here, here and they up. don't have it. I take, I have a tiny dog. I take a bag all the time, man. I tie it to the, I tie it to the leash. Hey, man, there's people that leave fucking goddamn dirty ass baby diapers, diapers. hanging in oh, the fucking mangroves and that. shit, man. There's some just nasty bastards that come down here and foul our fucking. Well, let's not. Wait, okay. <laughs> You know, no, I'm just saying in general, when you go in the I woods, guess, you know, we bring everything real. out We want to be real. If you come down here, When you don't come down pollute. here, respect the environment. Uh, don't it's overfish. It's all sanctuary. Take, take, take what you're going to eat. Uh, don't don't trash the place because we wouldn't want, I mean, we wouldn't want to go to where you're from and do the same thing. If you're from Tulsa, we don't want to go and throw our, uh, what beer do they drink there? Lone Star. Oh, Fall Staff. Fall Staff. Fall Staff. I know, Lone Star is actually Texas. I really pissed yep. off. Yep. Oh, we, luckily, we don't have anybody from Oklahoma yeah. right now. Oklahoma. Where the wind comes whipping down the plane. Oklahoma. <laughs> Well, have an old girlfriend from Oklahoma. She used to hate that because she every time she said Oklahoma, I had to sing. I had to sing Oklahoma. Oh, I she, got something to talk she about. She just reach over and smack. Stop that! I was I was <laughs> listening to this talk from. Uh, it's going to sound boring in the beginning, but you're going to understand where I'm coming from. It's called the Drake Equation. I know the Drake. Equation. Oh, you know the Drake. Yeah. Okay, it's about the amount of uh, 
intelligent life in the universe. Yeah. And what they do is they pick out the number of suns in the universe, and then they subtract the sun, uh, the the stars that don't have planets around it, and then they take out the amount of stars that don't have planets in the habitable zone, in between. You know, so the the certain distance for that type of star, where the temperature would be equitable to the development of life, and then they go over the possibility of intelligent life. Um, developing now, how it's applied is that these Cam- um, Cambridge, a uh, Harvard physicist, were wondering one day. They used the Drake equation to wonder why none of them had girlfriends, <laughs> and they applied it to uh, Boston. And with Boston, listen to this: six hundred thousand population. They started with a base uh, uh, population six hundred thousand. Subtract males because at the, and not that uh, roughly they were equal, all call it 300. 300,000. And then subtract uh, the 10 year variance of age it would be. And they came down to a number of 100,000. And then they. How about had, lesbians? Did they compensate for the lesbians? Th- they did. They compensated for the lesbians. They keep on doing this. They just boiled down. They boiled down to a number of 6,000 yep. out of. 600,000. 6,000. City the size of Boston. Right. There's 6,000 6, sounds like a lot. Sounds tons. Until you, but you tell them that you're a physicist at Harvard. Wait, wait, wait a second. Some may not be attracted by that. Um, some may. No, some may. Some, you know, someone coming. Because the guy has a, cor- uh, a Corvette. The girl that's attracted to jumping in a Corvette will. I had a gold, rust covered. Malibu wagon. I have a gold, non-rust covered Malibu hatchback now. But back then, when I was single, and I had girls in there, and I had got action inside that. <laughs> I did. That's why we call ours the pie wagon, man. Pie we wagon. had a Malibu classic in '77. No, I mean, no like, that was my. Uh, it's not. It's not a, always a function what of what that? you a have s- and what you do. It was a '67 it, Vista Cruiser. Yeah. It's more who you are. That thing saw more ass than yeah. a toilet seat. But this Drake, this Drake equation. You're thinking, well, 6,000 available women that they might find attractive in the city the size of Boston makes it like a low percentage. Imagine if you're going deer hunting and there's 20 deer in a 20,000 acre woods, right? What are the chances of getting any deer? What are the chances of getting any deer? If you got good wood skills, good. Maybe that's that's yeah, not, that, that's, you, not you, a, that's, like, huh. that's not that's not going to be a really about because you can twist you can you can really pull the odds on that one. No, but what I'm saying is they use that Drake equation to realize that holy shit, it's amazing that people are hooking up. Yeah, well, no, it's it's kind of like and it's kind of like fishing down here. 90, no, but, uh, okay, not, let's go to that number. Ninety five percent of all fish down here are caught by the same five percent of fishermen. They got the right spots. The, it's, you know the right spots, you know the right tides, you know the right equipment, you know how things flow. Same thing. I, and I tell, I, I, I did fishing charters for years, and I get people come down, hey, if I go up to, where are you from? Oh, yeah, we're from la- so this lake. I'm, so if I go up to this lake and I just show up on the shore and start plunking stuff in, am I going to catch fish? They're like, hell no. And I'm like, and when you come down here and start plunking stuff in from shore, you're going to catch fish? They're like, Oh. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm harking back to the time I came back here in 2007. And uh, there's 6,000 people year-round here. And you get a boost in seasonal and all that stuff. But let's start with a base of 6,000. That means 3,000 and my, I say my variance is 10 year two, two. And, uh, but I actually worked a little lower. I was able to go a little lower to that. Well, I'm gonna took care of myself. <laughs> I got I got about four or five years lower, That's and why you uh, love I didn't go much higher. Out. I didn't go yeah, higher, but go. I could have went higher. I could have went higher, but I went. Uh, I was 44 and did that. Uh, th- that means if you went to 3,000 and the women you found attractive, when you know, like maybe 500, and you could have, and and the women that were available, it could have ended up being 50, 50. That were ava- and that were available. Well, if you roll through the crib about two o'clock in the morning on a Saturday night, there's at least twenty. <laughs> no, I've been there. I've been there. I don't know if you think they're attractive. I didn't think they were attractive. <laughs> it depends on how much I was drinking. All you need is a chum bag, man, <laughs> and you're going to score. What is it? What, what, what's that old joke? Key Largo nine. 
You you know what a Key Largo nine is, right? It's a four, ca- uh, three, three Karen and six pack. No, th- th- three kids, three teeth, three tattoos. Oh. Yeah, that's done. That doesn't reach a level <laughs> two for me. But I understand. Yeah, where you're but coming at from. three o'clock in the morning, man. <laughs> <laughs> No way, man. That's a factor twelve, I, man. I there know. I go. learned my lesson uh, long ago in Philadelphia. Man. I had, I had my. This is probably ten oh, years. Oh, there goes towboat. Oh, and there goes Mark. This is probably ten, twelve years ago. I had my nephew down. He was uh, actually had to be about eight years ago because he's just in his early twenties now, and he was sixteen at the time. And I drove him into the Caribbean Club, proceeded to get him hammered, and we had a good old time. But uh, I had to go save him from the uh, from the uh, big old girl who basically thrown him over uh, her shoulder and was taking him home. <laughs> I'm oh, like, really? whoa, 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 whoa! Did she him, physically? Bring... Throw... Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, bring him back. Wow. My sister gonna beat the shit out of me if I let him get out of my sight. You can't, 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 can't go there. That's like a black snake <laughs> moan uh, situation. <laughs> He'd be chained out back. Oh yeah. I'm like, hey, a... no, 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 no. Wow, Luke! Imagine that. So I'm gonna take you back, and look, was it any man? Oh, I have, that in, I've uh, been a victim of that, man. <laughs> I have I have had to hide and crawl under shit and under buses and vans. Oh, dude, we were playing at the catch. Uh, what was that? Two months ago, I, I had to get covered over in bags so they could get because these fucking chicks were when stalking did, the when shit did you cover, out of when me. When did you cover for uh, Cody at the catch? That was last month. Yeah, dude, we had these two chicks. Oh my god. Mike was left. That me and Luke. Okay. Mike was dying. He thought it was the funniest damn thing ever. We keep th- we keep trying to throw Mikey under the bus, and they just keep on talk to the talk to two of us. It was funny as hell. I'm like, oh god, hide me, please. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll be, you know what? I buy it, but I buy the, I don't buy the idea that you want to tell your significant other that. You no, have I, I laugh like hell. I got home you know and I, I told her it's You know like, what man. I tell my, I say there was never a time where women are interested in me. Oh, man, see, my that's wife what I knows say. that's bullshit. It's my line thing. She, she, uh, I know it's bullshit. She, my she, lady she knows watches us sit there and carry on and flirt and just be, you yeah. know, be, be general musicians up on stage. Well, no, and I, 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 what I do is I, if you're not lying if you're oblivious to the pickup, Right. If you're, not, if you're not aware, if you're not aware that someone's trying to pick you up, okay, plausible that's, that's deniability. A, that's a good segue into this story. Plausible What's deniability. It's so we're sitting good. there, uh, we're half half in the bag at a bar, and I'm doing karaoke. This one guy comes over and goes, "Hey, you want to do? Uh, you've been doing old country stuff, and you know, I, I was in the bag because I was doing karaoke, yep. and I usually never do karaoke. He's going, you've been doing old country stuff. Can you do?" Um, Oh, uh, Seven Spanish Angels. Old uh, Willie Nelson or Ray Charles song. Oh, well, Seven great song. Spanish Angels. Seven Spanish Angels. Look it up. I said, hell yeah, I could do that. And I get up there. I have no idea at the time. But my wife has already got the, she got the camera out and ready. Because this guy plants a big old kiss on me afterwards. Oh, the guy did? <laughs> and she she is laughing like hell. She was just dying. Going, He's been flirting with you all night. I'm like, huh? Well, that's, what? That's, 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 <laughs> that's pretty good. That's I'm a like, great huh? story. What? And, of course, you know, he did that. I'm immediately pulled back and I was ready to punch him in the teeth. And Sandy comes up. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. But, hey. no, she's been waiting for this. She, she's got the camera when out right guy, in front. When, going, a guy, hey. when a guy shows that, oh, big fucking fish just jumped out of the water right there. That was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. What? He just jumped up like two feet in the Tarpon air. Tarpon or a mullet? Probably a mullet. About no a foot idea. long? It was. Uh, it's being chased, obviously. Yeah, no. Uh, That's probably mullet. probably mullet. If it looked like it was running fast. Yep. The tarpon, man, they roll yep. more than anything. Yeah, over here a couple times when I used to work at Gilbert's, and I'm sorry to segue that. That's a great story with it. The, and I have a couple of those where you're talking to somebody. Dude, you have I, no idea, and you think, hey, man, this dude is really into the stories that I'm talking about. I was completely and thinking, oblivious. all of a sudden, the guy puts a hand on your knee, and you go, Holy shit! What's oh, that all about? I have but, no I mean, idea. Hey, at a certain age, as I, I get older, if someone says they're attacked to me, I just say thank you very much. I'm not interested. That's it. You know what I mean? No, she was she was laughing like hell. She had, she had the camera out. You, she was waiting for something to happen. Yeah, I would, I'm not offended. Me, I'm, I'm not puke. offended if a gay Damn. Man, no. a gay dude comes. I mean, if he's if he's he doesn't mind a gay dude coming. 
Is that what you said? Coming on coming to on. you. Oh, well, not coming on you. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, you because, clear that up. Uh, I'm glad you clarified that. I am comfortable in my orientation. And if I was comfortable being gay, I would have been happy about it. What was that? And that that's the old, uh, who is it? Who's, who's the old, it's a uh, thought. It's a who's thought the punk it's guy? Uh, Henry Rollins. I was laughing. They had an interview with him because they were asking him one day. He, he, it's like, you're always out for gay rights, da, da, da. It's like, aren't you gay? I'm just like, if I were gay, everybody would fucking know I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> you all would know. Trust me. Yeah. Henry Rollins? Yeah. Oh, the guy who's all tatted yeah. up? Yeah. You all would fucking know. <laughs> oh, man. Everybody would know. I really enjoy his uh, shows, Yeah, man. his spoken word stuff Henry, is fun as hell. Henry oh, Rollins. Yeah. Like oh, wait, do you remember I like band? the part he played on uh, The Chase with uh, Charlie Sheen. And there the cadaver go. falls on the <laughs> on the cop car, and the, the fat cop, you know, gets out his nightstick and starts beating yeah. on the cadaver. It's already dead. Well, um, <laughs> Henry Roll- was Rollins, he was all part of the thing. What was that band? That band uh, the Rollins Danzig, band? Danzig. Danzig. The guy got his ass kicked by a, uh, he was it was big. I guess he was kind of big. He looked big. He had the long, dark hair. He was muscular. And he was getting in the face of some bouncer and shit like that. And the guy. He's singing his song, heavy metal stuff. He gets in the face of that. He's yelling at a bouncer, and the bouncer hauls off. Wasn't him. as fit as he was, and lands him on his ass. And it was. And it's not, all about technique. It's all it technique. Is. Well, and it's about uh, not being bullshit. You don't want to. You don't want to be bold and not being able to back it up. I laugh like hell. We were sitting down, and we were playing. This is about five, six years ago. Josh and I were playing down at Willie T's, and this guy was fucking with the uh, with the queens walking down. You know, they do, the queens do their walk down yeah, Bird yeah. Street. And we're both sitting there. We're on the mic going, hey, dude, you don't want to do this. not going, don't, no, no. Oh, never mind. <laughs> when the queens not hauled off and oh, um, slugged them? beating the shit out <laughs> I'm like, dude, yeah, he's wearing a dress, but he's six foot tall and covered with fucking muscle. And they're tall and they're strong <laughs> and they're used to people giving him shit and they're ready to retaliate. Like, you don't well, want to be doing you know, yeah, If you're a homophobic and you have a problem with transvestites or transgender, don't go to Key West. But if you're open and I'm not saying you're open to experience that. I'm just saying go over there, experience it, enjoy oh, it. Hell, That's a, a place time. to be. It is a dude. good time. And those people are fun. That's a fun time. New Year's Eve, man, Actually, when that dude um, gets in that, that dude dressed up oh, like dr- ginger. Drops, drops the shoe. Drops in his shoe. That is fucking great. People love it. It fills our heart with joy. Doesn't it? Well. Hey, Luke, I know you're an open guy. I mean, you don't you and, accept everyone. Well, years and years ago, um, it was, uh, I was living in Tampa, and it was my, the first time I'd ever been anywhere, even remotely like this place, ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was back in the early 80s. Yeah. So, it was a, in, it was in the Ebor City part of Tampa. Jim Bean. Jim Bean, beer? Yep. Yeah, let's hear it. Uh, just a beer for me, man. I got you. Cute. I saw you Yep. And uh, at any rate, so it was in Ebor City, part of Tampa. If I know Ebor. Yeah, I used to work there. And and I'm trying to remember the name of the place. It was like it took up a whole city block. It was it was huge. A nightclub? Yeah, it was a big big nightclub. It had a it had a gay cowboy bar in it. Yeah. It had a, a theater, you know, where they did the uh, the shows, you yeah. know, the drag email, shows. Yeah, yeah, and all that. And um, had another weird place that it was dark and I didn't go in. Yeah. <laughs> and and they had like, you know, like a jazz bar and just and it, all in this big fucking complex. And it was the first time I saw two gay cowboys dancing, man. And I was like I was like, you know, fuck it, man. They they looked happy. I was like, fuck they it. They were so fucking happy. And uh and I went with the with the girls, man, and uh to the uh, theater to watch the drag show, which was fucking hilarious. It was fucking. They put on a great show. They do. They're very entertaining. They're very exuberant. I mean, it, it almost brings tears to my eyes now because I was laughing so hard at that shit, man. It was just. They were just fucking hilarious. And the other cool thing was is even for Tampa back then, man, to go to the bathroom and there was like non-gender specific bathrooms and nobody gave a fuck. You know, half you couldn't really tell who was a guy or a girl. Well, just Some like of them your were house, like, you just know. like in a house, right? Yeah, you know, it was just like who gives a, big a fuck? Deal. 
Yeah, I don't get this whole, you know. It's um, only, it's only. I could see us guys not wanting to have to shit next to a woman because my mom, my God, she will fucking, she will sterilize your nostrils for a week if you smell her shit. And she's the sweetest lady in the world, but my God, she'll peel the paint off the wall. Do you re- okay. I mean, when my mom would use the shitter, man, <laughs> the rest of us would have to wait. Me? I mean, it was hours before well, you, you could walk in there. Were you suggesting her diet, or was it the bacteria in her I, stomach? I just don't, I, you know, she just blessed her heart. I think she was such a sweet person that everything that vial that she held down came out when she took a shit, man. Oh, man. man. <laughs> I mean, well, there's and a I long ain't making tra- this up. I mean, it was... Oh my God! You, it's like if she shit before you had to brush your teeth for school, you was fucked, man. I ain't brushing. So it. you took us from the nice club that you were in Tampa and went all the way because <laughs> we look hit at this, the bathroom. Look at this, man. Look man. at Bill. Oh shit! Now, holy shit, man! Look at he's got two beers. One Three, bourbon he's got four and beers. a pint. He's got four beers. Oh man! And that and is a, a talent. Holy shit! That is good. I wouldn't have been able Man, to do he, that. And he only stuck his boob a little bit in my beard. Hey, you know what, though? <laughs> oh, man, that's a big ass. Yes, man. Oh, man. That was a big one. Thank you. Look at this. Yeah, we're. we're. So Jim's bourboning it out today, man. I'm just having a little. I got my water here. You see this? I got my water. I got my beer. It is, uh, you know, that's why I can drink so much because I drink a lot of water. That's the way it is, Except man. for when I don't drink a lot of water, then I don't remember shit, and then I, and I do fuck. You hide your TV. And I hide my TV. Hide your fucking TV I'm, and get I'm, your I'm, little I'm, kitten sitting in your hammock, your your underwear hammock underneath you when you're taking a crap. My, my favorite line is still from uh, Donovan, a friend of ours that's bartender up at the uh, crib. Every once in a while, we'll go up there, and Luke and I will be drinking, and we'll ask for bourbon. And he goes, you remember what happened last time you had bourbon? And we'll just look at him and go, no. No. No idea. That's why I have another. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I'll have another. But uh, oh, it's funny that you were talking. He's talking about the uh, in, in Tampa going to one of these big uh, clubs there. And I mean, he had- it was huge. It was it was a, it was a whole city block, man. I'm trying to remember the, the El Goya. There was a the there El was a, Goya. Was that the name of El it? Goya? There was a place in Philly called the Black Banana on Second <laughs> Street. No, it sounds all gay. It was only partly gay. But it was where everyone went. And in the bathroom, they had a two-way mirror. And what happens, the light's on the inside. And when you're going, you see people, you know, you go and stand there. You just block. You know, if you're sh- uh, you're a shy person, you kind of block away your thing. If you're not, you just let it Ooh, all Oh, there it is. There it is. You know, if you're interested. Uh, I was one of the ones. <laughs> I always thought you should be somewhat timid not all the way out there so the girls didn't think you carried the venereal disease but you weren't too shy right we were just going i'm going in there and just i'm fine i'm fine i'm going right in and you know it's gay couples there's transvestites there were straight couples and they had danced and had a great time i mean there were exclusively gay gay clubs there were um there were regular clubs obviously you had gay people show up at regular clubs but they they tend tended to go to their own places but when you go to a place where they all they say, yeah, we don't give a shit. You know what I mean? You know, and someone comes up and say, yeah. Have you ever uh, pissed on the dude's foot on the urinal next to you? Just uh, for fun? No. <laughs> really? I've never done that no. on purpose. <laughs> no, no. I've, I've done it on accident, but I've never done it on, uh, never done it on purpose. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah you just kind of go, Whoosh. oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> never did it. We well, did the trough things. Remember the trough are... things? They take the ice and they dump it in there. Well, see, if you're in a loud bar and they're wearing cowboy boots, you can piss on their boot for a good while before they notice. <laughs> oh, dude, you gotta get your ass kicked, man. You piss on my pythons, I'm going to have to kick your ass. Sorry. <laughs> that was a hey, there's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Kelly. Uh, she Hi. is lovely. She is certainly a lovely woman. We love you. Love you, too. If and you I come, still If you come to here, the Blackwater Siren, you got Kelly uh, behind the bar. She's a talented artist also. She's been selling a lot of paintings, if you know about that. Yep. She's multi-talented. Yeah, man. I was looking at some of her stuff, and I was like, damn, that man. That iguana painting? Oh, that was oh, awesome, man. Oh, my man. God. She is uh, conceptually. That's the thing about art, and it's musicians and um, 
free association. I consider myself I, free I association. I was thinking the other day, man, I would like to commission something for her, man, to make it into a T-shirt. 48. We should wrap it up and decide if we want to do another one. But, uh, Rat. what are you talking about? Rat. Oh, I was just thinking about having her do, um, a, portrait? a t-shirt for me, uh, uh you know, uh, but oh, it's gotta you. be in, in order to sell t-shirts, man, they have to be super fucking cool. They do. And so I was going to have a character like of myself and of my dog. You know what, Luke? I don't know if you'd have to go that far. Weed, man. You know, well, like go, on a farm. I would on a, incorporate. On a marijuana I would incorporate, farm, but you, know? you have enough unique look about you that you would only have to incorporate a couple other things to make it unique because you're unique in yourself, and that's a compliment. Okay, I I, I think the further you get away from that, it takes away from who you are. think about yourself, what you're interested in, and uh, the weed, the music. And and bring T Bone in, and maybe have if you have anything left over, maybe you'd like to bring in the love of your be, life. But yeah. I can't draw for shit. You know, it, it, yeah, I get the same thing. I, I start trying. I can totally stuff. see it. I can envision it, but I, I, I start trying to put a logo together. You know, on, on the paint shop, and I move stuff around, and I've got this great idea that ends up looking like a turd on the screen. I can, <laughs> like I can see it, but I can't make it happen. Bartender. I just took a shot glass up. That's all. That's that's a good, that, and that's a good one. Well, it's just the idea that, you know, what we're doing is trying to conceptualize that we're looking at things through the eyes of a bartender from this area. But, well, it's, see, you know, that the things that will sell T-shirts and move product is you got to have something either really clever to say or oh. or a really cool picture. What was, uh, what was uh, you remember Dwayne and Mike, Just Not Right? Yeah. What was their thing? They hit the clam, the bearded clam on the side of the, uh, on the, side of the sleeve. That's all. Bearded clam was actually a bar. They, they, they had the bearded clam on the side, and I can't remember the catchphrase under it. I won't have yeah. to ask Mike now. But that one sold like hotcakes. Yeah, the bearded clam is a, a sign for a vagina. Yeah, yeah. So that, that, that's our that's our alter, clams that's our these alter days, ego uh, band name, Mike Hunt and the Bearded Clams. Okay, well, I mean, there was only was, was there one woman in it? No. No women. <laughs> you should change it to the, sh- no, and the shaved clams. It was me. It was it was me and Mike. <laughs> it, was two, it was two old guys. Okay, you know what? That actually, you know what? I can actually. Yes, because if it was one woman in it, I think that would be denigrating to her. But now that there's not, well, man, yes. that pontoon oh, look at that. That's nice way looking? out of the water. You see man. that? You see what's going on? What's I think that? someone's going to fall off the top. Oh. Somebody falling off the dock over at No, uh, no, no. I meant the uh, uh, top. Oh. It was just hanging on there. Yeah. No. no it's, it's, there's it's, enough girth to yeah, hold there's, that on. Uh, there, there's some girth and width there. Yep. yep. I, I, I certainly do appreciate a woman that can survive a small family. Rubenesque. <laughs> I, I, no, 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 hey, hello. I, hi. How you hello, doing? Lovely, lovely lady. What floral You don't dress. need to go out in the sun. You will <laughs> burst into flames. Yes. That's Welcome to Key Largo. That's one of the fun <laughs> things down here. You you watch some tourists walk around. It's like, let me just give you some sunscreen because if you walk outside and the sun comes out, you're if just going to burst burnt, into If flame. they're not burnt when they're here because they come down from Miami, sometimes they stay up there, they usually did the right thing. Man, I see just Birds the of, other day, man, this, this poor heavy set chick. And she was with her good-looking girlfriend that was in good shape and... The heavy set chick evidently fell down face oh, first, shit. or I mean, fell asleep face first, because her calves Just and fried. her thighs and her back was. Oh. I mean, I mean, it was, it was. I I guarantee you, she got sick, man. That was, that was sun poisoning, man. Oh. Guarantee you. And her friend, on the other hand, was 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 hand. even, and it was like, really, you let your friend, your fat friend, burn like that, like a fucking piece of ham. And, you in know, that. I, I live down here and I know better, but once every four or five years, I got to go out and go fishing and hang out with my buddies on the and boat. You forget to put the sunscreen to put on. Sun, or, no, I, I don't forget to put, I put the sunscreen on Reapply. once, but I don't put it on again. Reapply. Next thing I know, I get I get home and we're cleaning the fish and all of a sudden I'm like, all it my skin like is tightening up day. and I'm like, sucking you know? in. That looks like, like a good time right there, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, feeling like slugs, somebody's poured salt on, you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, I want to pay for this for three fucking days. I only got it in 11 years, got it one time down here. That's right. Oh, hey man, you, That's see, right. you guys see the dolphins out there behind oh. the... Uh, I've been waiting on my dolphins all fucking winter, okay, man. Okay, here they, we go. There's three or four. Oh, there, there they are, there they are. There they, they come. They're, they're kicking around. We got dolphins coming to uh, uh, Jewfish Creek, uh, Blackwater Sound. They're coming up under the bridge. They look like they're making a run. They're going to uh, go knock the guy on the paddle board off the paddle board. <laughs> Did you see that thing on uh, Facebook? Which one? Uh, the guy out in California paddle boarding, and he's he's paddling out through the surf, and a oh. whole, whole bunch of spinners come in surfing the waves, and one of them jumps off and just fucking creams them. <laughs> but a spinner dolphin? Yeah. Just creams them. Just knock, knocks them right off the board. You know what? I, I believe dolphins are smart enough. They didn't do it to be malicious but they're no. just so involved and they're i mean they have a good time you're on their turf yeah. man no, yeah he, he he's he he's chirping his buddies hey y'all watch this hold my beer <laughs> <laughs> no but these i've See seen that guy? The, uh, the, the the friendliest ones uh, or the, the wild ones the spotted dolphins they seem to be the most interactive when they're curious when they see you and if you're somewhat interested boarding on ambivalent they like that because they know you're not gonna you're fuck not gonna with chase them. them around you're gonna yeah, fuck you... them around they just come up and say hi to you you're saying hi to them well years they... ago years ago when i was diving if if you chase the dolphins they go away if you start fooling around and doing circles and loops and digging in the bottom they come over and they fuck with you. yeah yeah no but you know dolphins are traditionally friendly i mean at least at least for humans, right? Hey, we can we could we could take our time, man. So what? We go a little longer today, but longer. Uh, there, is a, there is a dolphin over there. It's uh, right behind a sailboat coming around. Well, see, for years and years uh, that I worked at Gilbert's, which has been for a long time. Years. I know, I remember. That's <laughs> where um, we used to have a, a pot of dolphins that wintered here, and they would have the mama would have a calf or two with her, and. She would train them how to hunt in the shallow water up here and stuff. And they would put on quite the show. And when she'd get mad at them, she'd smack the water with her tail like, hey, pay attention. Watch me. Hey, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Yell. Pay attention. And um, you could oh, throw there it is. It's yeah. just circling around. And then the yeah. pelicans are right there, well, too. Because, uh, see, uh, yeah, you know what? I apologize that hunting. we're not visually oriented. But if you come down here, you're going to see this. There's uh, dolphins. Yeah, no, the dolphins they're, they're, are they're hunting. Pro- they're, they're probably they're, chasing. They're probably chasing school and mullet since there's a couple of pelicans on top of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're probably balling some mullet up. Got these. Uh, and you know what? Unusually, two people with jet skis going to regular speed. They're supposed to be going. Yeah, they're actually. They're not. They're cruising. admiring. They, yeah, there we go. They're, they're not cruising being, through there. <laughs> they're being uh, observant of the rules. That's unusual. You know they what? just that had to unusual. drive right over where the dolphin was. Though. They couldn't Probably. just go around the area a little bit. No, no, they did. They did that there, and there's a person kayaking, just hanging out, being friendly. Yeah, you know what? I, you gonna... know, I'm all in favor of designate, designated jet ski zones in the Keys. That would be uh, U.S. I think there should be. I think there should be a season on jet ski skis, yeah, man, no, where I'm... we could shoot them and stuff. There, there we go. There you go. There's one right here. Oh man! All I'll tell you, around, a it's not friendlier time. than that when you see a dolphin coming up, coming out of the water, having a good time. What's really cool is when they heard a bunch of fish down your canal in the middle of the night. Man, you can hear them breathing, man. And oh, there's the a pelican coming. Fish out sounds there. like rain. Big ass birds, man. I've, I've I've actually gotten up in the morning back when I was living down uh, down south a little bit uh, on on a canal. I've gotten up in the morning and there's been a couple dozen mullets sitting on the dock where they've hopped out of the water. Yeah. Trying to get away and they started flopping around. They couldn't figure out how to no, get back they're, in. They're, no, yeah, there they are, man. Oh, there, there they go, coming in here. You can see the uh, little turbulence coming in. Yeah, that's a, see, that's see, a big pop size one there. Yeah, you see, see the see the boat pushing in this way. See all the there you go. They're all there all go. spraying oh, there up this there way. Yeah, here come. Of course, here come yeah, the pelicans. There, see the baby one out there. Yeah, yeah. See the they're little They're teaching one the little one how to how to fish. There he goes. You know what? There's nothing more peaceful than that. Look at that. That just It's like just, having your own Oh, look at that. It did giant, a little exhale when it came up. You have your own giant like fish tank down here, you know? And that's a beautiful thing. Yep. I'll tell you. 
this is the this is the part of the the keys that a lot of people miss. That is a, that is a little one, man. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, probably just uh, there, actually there's a couple you know, little ones out yeah. there. Yeah, they usually have a couple of kids and stuff. They're yeah, they're I'm, late I'm this see, year. I'm, I'm so I'm happy to see them. Really small dolphin out there. They're babies, man. They're really. Um, if you go over to the end of Gilbert, so a lot of times they'll come up close enough where you can yeah, really put, get push a good them up, look. Push them up. Well, they'll push that school mullet up. On you got to watch out for there. stuff like that. It, if, it, if it was a guy sneaking up behind you, <laughs> sticking his nose up your ass. Well, you know, dolphins will get a little frisky that way. Uh, they call it the finger of friendship. <laughs> I think they call that right. You ever heard of that one? Luke, um, the finger of friendship. Yeah, you can when they're excited, to yourself, there, buddy. Oh, they got that big. No, uh, I've heard. Why, that ain't my. That ain't my belly button. Yeah, that ain't I my know. finger ain't either. My finger either. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. This is uh, Jim the Keys, bartender, and I appreciate you joining us here today at uh, Blackwater Siren. Remember, if you have any uh, catch when you're down here, you can come down and uh, they'll cook it. Make sure it's filleted. They got their happy hour down here from uh, four to uh, four oh, to on the board four to there, seven. Where is it? it or I can't or whatever? They got great uh, happy hour six. deals. Monday through Kelly's Friday, behind the bar. Six. It's uh, yeah, there she goes. There she goes. Woo! Uh, and it's always it's always happy hour on Bud Light. It is a, a, you, two two dollar Bud Lights. Two dollar Bud Lights. That's great all the time. Holy crap. That's good up in Philly. Yeah, two dollar Bud Light all I, listen, the time. When you come in here, you're going to be welcome. There are some uh, friendly people down here. They're easy going. Uh, leave your cares behind when you come down at Keys. You're going to have a good time. And oh, there's a little tabby over there, man. It's hunting. That's orange. That's orange. I th- I thought tabby's a little cat. No, ta- ta- what's an orange cat then? That's just his name, orange. Orange. No, t- tabbies are the. You have a name. You have a what rhymes with orange? Silver. No. Oh, it's orange. Silver. Silver. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to thank. I'm going to thank Luke, and uh, I'm going to uh, go off air. I'm going to thank Luke there first. Go. Luke's going to go next and talk about his uh, gigs coming up, and then uh, I'll let Bill sign off. Luke, where are you playing this weekend? I know God you're not playing it, at uh, I'm, Shipwrecks I'm on confused. Saturday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> As far as I know, double, double I'm, at, your ass again? I'm at Sharky's on Thursday. How's your Sharky's gig been going? I Good. like playing there. That's always fun. And uh, then I'm at the Catch on Friday. There you go. Saturday oh, afternoon, I'm at uh, Gilbert's. That'll and I got to do something Saturday night. And then the next day, I'm at Shipwrecks. There you go. And I you forgot what you, it was. Are you doing Sundays regularly at Shipwrecks now? Oh, no, no, wait. I'm sorry. I meant Sharky's on Sunday. Sharky's on Sunday. Saturday night we may be doing a show. I, I may do it from, uh, I might be doing a show from where you guys are. Jim might doing be doing a show night. from where. Wherever you guys are. Like I'll, I'll well, I'm doing, a, I'm doing a private party on Saturday night. We're doing. No, but I mean open, from an open place. There you go. And I'll do it. Um, I we'll want Jim to we'll pick up a, his microphone. We'll do a half hour. I really before. want Jim to pick up his microphone so you all can hear oh, this. Wait. Okay, what I want to do is a half hour, half hour before uh, Luke and uh, uh, Bill's shows when they come in, and uh, Saturday shows because I'm going to be alternating at the uh, catch. Oh, there you go. Um, it sounds like something that we should do, and uh, you know, it, it, it's it's happening. Then we'll do a live show. And yeah. we'll, we'll, do, we'll use a power mic. I'm going to use a power mic and do it. Um, a little off and then bring it in and do... Uh, you know, all the stuff that I'm using now, I don't use in my regular shows. No, what I'm saying is... I can set all, that all what We'll go up. and do it. We'll we'll try to structure it a little differently. There you go. And uh, But it, it'll it have your music. Well, okay. We no, well, we got, we're going to figure it. It's going to take a while to figure it out. Finger but we'll do it. it. We, 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 we won't do we'll, it. We'll and we'll, it all it'll, all it'll be a way to... I just, I just saw that dolphin again. He's out there. He's f- hanging out near a fucking pelican. Yeah. Well, that no, is the so pelicans cool are they following. following. Well, well, the, pelicans the pelicans are hanging are out near the No, they're just sitting and floating on there. And then one. Yeah, they're so waiting for him to school. The, they're they're waiting for him to ball the mullet up so they yeah. can get get in there and get a, get a meal. Okay. Well, you can you can do the sign off right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all so much. Uh, 
What am I doing this weekend? I'm uh, catch on Thursday. Uh, I'm going to be playing with my buddy Cap and Josh on Friday. Uh, we always have a good time doing a bunch of the old Buffett covers that uh, Luke really hates. And then we'll be, uh, I got a good uh, private party to do on Saturday for some uh, fantastic newlyweds. Or they will be newlywed after we're done playing. And then I'll be with Sweetwater on Sunday, and uh, we look forward to seeing you all coming down here. Come visit the Keys, and thank you all so much. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us, and we will see you guys next time. What do you think? We'll put it on a podcast. You want to or not? At Domino's, we're more than pizza, so mix it up with our specialty chicken, stuffed cheesy bread, sandwiches, pastas, medium two-topping pizzas, and more for just $5.99 each, and we'll mix stand-up comedy with a robot. Stuffed cheesy bread and my act have a lot in common. They're both super cheesy. Tough crowd. You can also mix it up with Domino's salads, marbled cookie brownie, bread twists, and medium two-topping pizzas. Order any two or more for just $5.99 each. Two-item minimum. Bone-in wings, handmade pan pizza, and bread bowl pasta will be extra. You must ask for this limited time offer. Prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Capital One presents a 30-second audio tour of Ireland. Sheep, fairies, golf, charming castle, charming castle, charming castle, charming castle, charming castle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know you can actually go there when you use the Capital One Venture Card. You earn unlimited double miles on every dollar you spend on every purchase, which means you'll have plenty of miles to actually travel to Ireland. The Capital One Venture Card. What's in your wallet? Capital One Bank USA N.A. 